Oh my gosh, it's like 12.30 at night and I should be sleeping, but I just want to play more of this game. It's so good. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Astalon. Tears of the Earth. And I don't know what that name is about, but I think, I think Ascalon with a C was like the sword or spear that St. George used to slay some dragon. And like, I think there's a, there's a city in Israel named after it called Ashkelon or something like that. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a reference, but misspelled. But that would be dope, don't you think? I love misspellings. Anyway, I I have been having some real trouble sleeping lately. And this isn't helping, probably. But I don't think I'd be able to sleep tonight anyway because I was rooting for the Phoenix Suns to win the NBA Finals. And they were up two games to zero, but they just lost to the Milwaukee Bucks. I mean, I'm happy for the Bucks and everything, but... I don't know. I um, won't be able to sleep for any reason tonight. Let's play more of File 3. Also, I like kind of just figured out where to go. Like I was searching for a while last episode. I cut out a lot of footage, a lot of content. <clears throat> content. I edited out a bunch before I finally made it to like an area of the map that I have not explored, so. Let's go figure out how to get that blue key. <laughs> I smacked that dude a couple times. Um, and I do want to test this theory that, like... Okay, you saw over there that there was, like, a, uh... There was an HP increase item. And sometimes my HP will increase by 5 when I pick it up, and sometimes it will increase by 1. And it really seems like when I am at full HP... It's more likely that I will gain 5 HP. So, these mini-bosses are like total chumps now. A white key is required for that door. Um, and I know there's like kind of a way to get a blue key somehow if I go around to the left maybe. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, good thing I landed on that platform. I jumped into the bird. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was falling off the ladder there. Dang it. It's gonna take me a while to get back to there because it's not too close to any elevators, I don't think. But I have 607 souls. I mean, soul orbs, excuse me. Jeez. I imagine some of these... Some of these later stat increases are gonna be like... Very expensive, like 50,000 or something. I don't know, maybe it won't be that ridiculous. But for now, I like might want to save up for like another ability. I could get this, this is probably useful. And it's relatively cheap. But I really want to get some. I, you know what? Let's try to get Last Stand. I want to see him use that shield. I think that will just look cool. But I've played a lot of Arius lately, and, you know, it's probably because I really like his dash. But I don't know, let's let's switch to Algus, I think. I keep trying to avoid using him because I feel as though um, I use him more than than other characters. You know what? Let's fall down here and hold to the right and see what happens. No? Nothing? I couldn't go through that wall? Alright, that's fine. I think I can go right back up there. Um, there was a mini-boss in this room at one point. But now there is not. Okay, so. I fell down that... that hole for no reason. But that's okay, because I could just go right back up here. It would be cool if there was like an elevator around here somewhere. Is that not an elevator? Oh yeah, wait, that is where I came from. I meant if there was an elevator around um, the area that I've been exploring. Ugh, that was a weird dash that I didn't really mean to do. 
buns. Okay, so... Where should I go? I think I gotta go up here. Yeah, this is the area that I found last time. And it's like pretty hard not to get hit in this gauntlet of enemies and fireballs. But I reflected an F ball back at that... That Golbat, as somebody described it. Okay. Going, going up those platforms is way easier when I can use the reflecty thing. And by the way, I have a blue key. I kind of want to use it. There's like some big scary area next to an elevator that I found a while back. And maybe I should use it there. But I don't know. Let's go over here for now. And like, honestly, maybe I should chill out on like trying to find the secrets, you know what I mean? Like, I think at this point I should just figure out which way to go to advance the story or to find the bosses. Tried to reflect that back at him, but I wasn't fast enough. All right, I'm gonna jump to the right here. Um, where am I going? Yeah, okay, I wanted to go this way. This looks like I'm gonna take a hit. How do I time this? That was way better than I expected to do. Okay, and I got the blue key. That's that's where that took me. You think I can do it again? Nah, I took a hit. I landed on him. Okay. And like I said, um, I, I really want to see if grabbing the HP increase while I'm at my maximum affects how much HP it gives me. Because I don't know why sometimes they give me five and sometimes they only give me one. Okay, which way can I go here? There's a candle. That might help. Oh yeah, okay, so this was that puzzle that I figured out last time. And there was a mini boss in this room earlier. And I do want to go up this way to get back to that save point. Oops. Just gonna jump over that bird. Oh, that bug can fly through the walls, huh? Good for him. Maybe he's made out of magic. Um, let's switch to Algus. He's probably not the best for all these platforming parts, but I don't know. I said I would use him. Uh, and I know there's like a switch that he needs to hit somewhere. Somewhere like down and to the left. But, let's explore up here while I'm here. Ooh. I found a secret. Oh, and there was a blue key. I just walked right over a blue key. That's my Discord chirping again. Okay. So, good thing I switched to Algus. What is this symbol again? Is this a warp room? No, wait. This might be um, an area where I talk to that old man again. Oh! You again? That was like a... <laughs> I was imitating a sound from Warcraft 3, I think. You are still alive, though with Epimetheus's power, that was without doubt. That is correct. However, as you know, my soul is bound to him. I might as well be dead. My boy, you must know one thing. Even if you pay your final debt to Epimetheus, your story does not end there. What are you saying? Hee hee hee. As, sorry. As I said, you are more important than you think. Tell me then, what is my path? Can I escape my fate? Is that is that Algus in the future? Is that the what the old man is? Tell me more. Guide me. Or is it his father? Because he said, my boy. For now, I cannot. But in time, you will see for yourself. But before I go, 
Have another stone. I don't know what that familiar does, but now it looks a little different. He vanished again. And this thing, it's alive? It's not even a creature like... I've not seen a creature like this before, excuse me. It doesn't seem to be very responsive. It just mimics my facial expressions. Strange. Do you see that? I am occasionally throwing two projectiles now. Every other projectile will be mimicked by this creature. That is, every second projectile is doubled, so to speak. Yeah, I got this crazy friend of mine. To help me shoot things, like this guy, for example. I have to do a ladder battle here, huh? But yeah, look at this. I'm shooting more stuff. I just fell down like a smart person. I'm a little bit not used to how um, the momentum works when you jump. You don't immediately stop. Like if I let go, if I jump to the right and then let go of the directional pad in midair, I'll continue to the right for like just a few frames before it stops. And I um, underestimated how many. Like how much I would slide in midair, so to speak. That's my Discord going off. Maybe I'll turn that off in a second. But I'm gonna go up this ladder because ladders are better than stairs. Look, there's a face on the wall that is glowing and I'm just like destroying this dude here. Well, I got hit. That was stupid of me. Aha! Ooh, I got a white key. For a second I thought it was a red key. Like, it really looked not white. But I am wearing these um, blue light blocker glasses, so maybe there's a little bit of a tint. And that's why I thought it was red for a second. I don't know. I could probably go up those platforms. I expected to be able to kill that guy before he charged at me like that. I keep hearing that this like, uh, I guess kind of like grinding gear sound effect. But like, I am sort of literally in a clock tower here, am I not? So it's probably those chains moving. Okay, I can go through this door now and open the thing. Um, I don't know if I want to get that just yet. I have 29 HP, that's basically full HP. Oh, bah. I there's a lot of bugs over here. I don't know what word I was going to say, but it wasn't anything good. I thought this mouth was gonna open up. This statue. Ooh, cool, pots to break. I'm gonna do it. can't get up there. Or can I? Nope. That is a job for another character. What do I need here? Blue Gorgon Eye? There's a campfire, like, right here. Um, okay, so I'm making great progress, as a matter of fact. Why don't I save and then go back and... I don't know if there's anything in those pots. But I can access them with Kiuli. And I don't know, I've seen a pot have a key in it before. Yeah, look at that. So that was absolutely necessary. Oh gosh! Bye! <laughs> I have four blue keys. I'm about to have five. I can't get up there. Okay, okay, okay. Can Arias get that, maybe? Yeah, baby, let's go. Oh, he can't jump up there, okay. I thought I'd figure something out.
Um, do you think I can get that blue key from this side? I'm guessing you can't. Or you're not supposed to, anyway. I'm not supposed to be able to do that. What? Why was I not moving? It looked like I was standing on the platform, but not moving along with it. That was interesting. Annoying bird? I am the great Leon. And I have a bow and arrow, and I can shoot you. Man, look at the stars twinkling back there. I like that for some reason. Okay, what did I just get? Another white key? That's fine. Um, and yeah, now I can go through this door. That's some progress. Alright, I guess I'll hang on to Keeley for a little bit. And by hang on, I mean I will use her. Never mind, I have to use Arias to slash through those blue veins. I don't know how they identified them as, vi as veins, but I guess that's what they are. And it's like trying to imply that, you know, oh, this tower is alive, or there's something about it. Some part of this tower is alive, anyway. I love that this guy gets his own music, even though he's kind of a chump now. Especially when you get right up in his face. What was that? Okay, now I can get back the other way. All right. Without having to use Arias to cut down those blue veins. Um, rather, what I can do is come through this room from the top. Did I just see something back there? No, that was that was like a puff of smoke that happens when I use my dash. Took like a dumb hit there. Okay. Yeah, now I can get through that room with Algus. That's the point of that. Aha, familiar, get him. Oh, I didn't realize that that guy wasn't, uh... I didn't have his data in my bestiary. I don't know why I tried to reflect that fireball. You can only do that with one character. And it's not this one. And now I need to come back here with Kyuli the Rogue. Kayuli. I don't know how to pronounce her name. But I'm doing great. I hope you are too. Okay, well I'm glad I could at least finally figure out what this familiar guy is for. Okay, let's go. It looks like in order to get that key, to get this key, I'm gonna have to stand on that platform up here and do a dash jump with Arius. See ya. I love the way she runs. I think that's a cute animation. That was dangerous going down there because I didn't know that I was gonna kill that guy in one shot. <laughs> Thought I was gonna take a hit. Okay. Wall kicks will work. Yo, three mini bosses? I think I think Huli automatically does double damage to these guys. I crit them both at once. Apparently I can hit them hit two of them at a time. If they're stacked close enough to each other. Uh, I guess I couldn't open that door. I fell on the spikes. Dang it, I missed. Alright, I did it. I'm just gonna, um, hit this. I was just gonna hit this switch before I lose my opportunity to do that, is what I was gonna say. So I don't know why Keely automatically critically hits those dudes with a big eye. My, my theory originally was something like, 
oh, well, if you hit anything in the eye, it's a critical hit. And for some reason, that only applies to arrows. But, like, this boss down here has a big-ass eye. And I'm not doing auto crits on him. I killed him, though, so that's something. Okay, now, where am I? The room above me required a blue key? I didn't see anything about that. Oh, no, it was the blue, um, Gorgon eye. Okay, and here's... Have I been in this room? I don't think I have. I need to bring, uh... Oop, I need to bring Algus back there, is what it seems like. I don't quite know how to do that, but maybe there's a campfire somewhere around here! Nope. That would have been funny, though, right? If I called it. Oh! Oh, there was a hidden switch on that platform, and I got a bunch of money for it. Thanks, game. Okay. Um. Hey, look, a switch. Arrgh! I made sure to hit it extra hard. Okay, now... Wait, wait, wait. Was there a switch down there that I couldn't get to? Is that what I just saw? One that was blocked by blocks? I don't know why I shot the corner there. I thought there might be something there. By that, I mean... I shot an arrow over here to see um, if it traveled through the wall. I would know that there was a secret passage there. Oh, okay. I can hit this. So... I haven't been to the left yet, obviously. Let me take a quick peek to the right. Alright, that's where this is. I don't want to hit that. Well, maybe I do want to hit this candle. Just to get me a little more HP. Alright, please tell me there's a campfire. It's gotta be somewhere this way. I mean, it doesn't have to be somewhere this way. I love his wind-up sound effect. It's actually very cute. Nailed it. Okay. Man, I'm just exploring all sorts of new areas now. This is great. This is great. Because, like, for a while I really felt like I was struggling to find new locations. And I made it to a save point. Um, I needed this guy for something back here, right? I don't really remember where, but it was somewhere close. It was this. Yeah, okay. And probably a couple other things that I will find later. Okay. Ooh, yes! I found another elevator. That is very handy. So... Yeah, now I've unlocked Mechanism 2. And there appears to be a boss room to my left. And I, I want to use Arius for this simply because he has that ability that allows him to deal 10% more damage to bosses. Honestly, I feel like Kewley might have the best damage output. No, maybe it's... Actually, I have no idea who it is. But look, Arius can reflect stuff. That smell. It was you who defeated my brother, was it not? We're here to save our people. Anyone who tries to stop us is an enemy. I'm doing like a Kermit the Frog voice for some reason, I don't know. Tauros was a fool, but he was my brother. I will crunch your bones. <laughs> I love that he said that. I'm just gonna get behind this wall for a second and reflect the magic. Dang, that did a lot. Okay, okay, maybe it was a good idea that I picked this dude. I'm just gonna stand here and mash the A button? I probably wanna do this now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes my instincts are pretty good. Ah. This guy's not gonna learn. Oh, that one came at me fast. I'm actually surprised I reacted in time. Especially considering I took NyQuil a long time ago. Not sponsored. 
But you know, again, I've, I've been having trouble sleeping lately. I missed? Like he blocked it with a different projectile. Ow. Okay, the mouth beam is the one that you gotta duck behind this wall for. I imagine Kewley would have an easy time with this fight, just jumping and shooting. How does Algus do this one, though? I'm just gonna do this for a second. Oh, he's at half health. He's changing forms or something. Um... Is that thing gonna come back? What was that? Oh, okay. It's like a crazy, um, space dragon, and I have to hit its tail? I don't know. I seem to hit it there. Okay, like, I see that's indicating where the, where the beast is going to spawn from. But I have no idea, like, where to position myself and how to react. I didn't know he was going to do that loopy pattern like that. I don't know if I'm going to win this fight. Oh, I really didn't reflect that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that guy's right next to an elevator, so... I don't think it'll be too hard to get back there and try again. What does the revenge item do? Volantis. I'm guessing this brings me back to the boss fight, but the boss will have the same amount of health that I left him at. Second insight. That was the cutscene thing, right? Oh, I kind of want that. Dang it. I, I really do want to save up for Arius's shield ability, though. I just want to see what that looks like and find out whether it's useful or not. Okay, let's go to Mechanism 2. And, ugh. Maybe a character switch? Campfire is this way, right? Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna shoot him with a bunch of arrows and see how that works out. Of course, I don't know how the dragon form will work that way, but... Kaboom! Yeah, a lot of... The you look weak, girl. How have you made it this far? The sorrow of my village brought me to this point. Until I find the cause of the poisoned water, I won't stop. That was not my doing. However, I cannot allow your kind to pervade our tower. If you won't stand aside, then I'll force my way past. A death wish. Very well. Let's test your metal. That guy's pretty metal. I love that there's a different conversation. Depending on the character. Ooh, I shouldn't have jumped into that. That hit me? Oh, I don't have to hit him in the jewel there. Okay, I can hit him anywhere on the face. I didn't expect that. I didn't react appropriately there. Kind of just mashing the button here. Did you see that leap wall jump that I did? Definitely on purpose. All right, I lost my bonus. Because apparently hitting him in the face at this point does nothing. All right. I, I'm, I really don't know what to do for this form. I don't know if I have to hit him in the tail. I think I can hit him anywhere. I mean, he's got a glowing orb for a tail, right? That's like, if this were Star Fox, that would for sure be his weak point. But apparently I could just shoot him. Oh, that's kind of cool. What? There was a clear indication that those bombs are going to land left, middle, right, but apparently they were homing.
I don't know why I'm standing up here. This is probably a bad idea. All right, that was some good damage there. Music is intense. Oh, they, yeah, okay, they definitely home in on me no matter what, is what it seems like. Definitely is what it seems like. All right, I don't mean to keep losing my bonus like that. Maybe, maybe I should pay more attention to that. All right. Okay, just run straight is how you avoid that attack. Who would have guessed? Oh, that hit me, huh? He went straight at me there. Kind of hard to predict sometimes. Okay, I shouldn't jump for those either. Okay, it's good to know that I can jump off that wall over there. That actually helps out a lot. Oh. I expect that. I might lose this. It sounded like he shot three of those projectiles, but I guess he didn't. Okay, so maybe depending on, on how quickly that indicator flickers... That's how I should know what pattern is coming next. Okay. Mm, I thought I hit him one more time there. It's a little too slow. Okay, it seems like it, when it when it beeps a little slowly. And he's gonna shoot those little homing bombs. All right, dodged. Got him. See ya, idiot. What was this guy's name? His brother's name was Tauros. Man, he looks real sad. Here, let me help. <gasps> A blue thing. I'm gonna eat it. An everlasting gobstopper. With a lot of money inside it. That got me to exactly 2,000 soul orbs. And I have the Gorgon Eye, parentheses, blue. Press blue in the chat, everybody. Let's go. Where am I now? Hall of Phantoms? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, that guy's mad. <laughs> I got away from him. Dead. Take that, sucker. Man, there's still a lot in that last area that I have that I did not explore. And I didn't mean to jump through the uh, the top of this of this room just yet. Oh, this guy's smarter than a skeleton because he'll turn around if you shoot him in the back. I turn around trying to shoot him in the front, which is not what you want to do. <gasps> I can shoot the candles like it's Castlevania. I, for some reason, really love that. That guy's got a bomb? Oh my goodness, the enemies in here are amazing. And probably very difficult. Yo, that guy tried to throw something at me. Thought I could shoot him with a wall kick. <sighs> I should probably get more strength, don't you think? I'm cheesing this clown. Okay, okay, do I really want to proceed to the left when there's so much to the right that I haven't explored? 
gonna wait till he gets like all the way at the other end of this platform. Then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna lay into him. For crit too. That helps a lot. Take that candle. I don't have a white key, so I don't know if there's any reason for me to open that door over there. But I can. Is this guy okay? Anyway, let's save the game. Matter of fact, why don't we rest again to see a cutscene? That flying gorgon. Scary, wasn't it? Yeah, my parents told me stories of such gorgons. Can they leave their ruins? They can't be away from their stone form for long. But it depends on their strength. Surely a troubling thought. Speaking of troubling thoughts... You've been acting strangely since we entered this tower, Al. I've noticed it too. What's wrong? I don't even know how to bring it up. So I made a pact. <laughs> there is something wrong, I won't deny it, but I'd rather not discuss it. <clears throat> but Al, your temperament affects us all. Arius, please respect my wishes. Okay. Mushrooms and a big steak. Not your typical camping meal, is it? Didn't you make this last time? That's incredible. How did you manage to make that? It smells so yummy. I really mean it this time. My mouth is watering just by looking at it. Go on, try it. Don't mind if I do. How is it? Heavenly. You've truly outdone yourself this time, Al. Yeah, this is the same conversation as last time, right? And he's gonna tell him about the mushrooms. Why aren't you eating it? No reason. Algus, where did you find this steak? I found it in a cave. Which cave? The one with the shooting spore mushrooms. They were all bundled up in a corner. There were two big ones in front, and a bunch of small ones hiding behind them. They made funny a funny squeak sound when I plucked them from the ground. So cute. Oh no. Algus, what have you done? Anyway, I got 25 HP for that. And I'll save the game, but you know what I want to do? I have an abundance of blue keys for the first time in my life. And I think if I go to Mechanism 1... It's like whatever one has like bears in it, right? Maybe it's not this. There's like a place with like big lion or bear statues. I can't remember. But to the left of it, there's a room that I need a blue key for. It's not this, no. It might be subterranea. Yeah, this looks right. What were they? No, wait, it's not this? Maybe it is this. Because it says that there's something to the left here. And again, I don't know what this mask does. Yeah, wait, it wasn't this. So where is it? I thought... It, I thought I'm looking for a room with a blue key... That, or a blue key door that I thought was like really close to an elevator. So like, where are the elevators? Or maybe it's next to a campsite. Maybe it's that. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, maybe I'm just wrong. Let's go to mechanism one. And then maybe down into the left? <laughs> Dang it, I forgot where this place was. I thought it was like easy to find though, you know? No, nothing in there. Wait a second, this has a hidden blue key door. I'll come back to here after I go check out what's to the left. Aha! He never knew what hit him. He might, actually. He might know exactly what hit him. Okay. So was it this? Yeah, this was the room I'm thinking of. Okay, it wasn't next to an elevator. It was next to a campfire. With the bears on the wall. Or maybe they're lions. But hey, look. 
This looks creepy, okay? So, like, I for sure want to check out what's around here. Oh, wait. These are the money skeletons. Yeah. Let's get some money from these. It's kind of a lot. But yeah, this place has, like, teeth and muscle walls in it. I love that all you can hear is his footsteps in here. Where am I? I can go down. Sorry I had to look at the map like nine times there. And I got another blue key. Could I have gone this way the whole time? Oh, I totally could have. This was a secret that I missed. Well, now I gotta know what's over here. By using another blue key. Oh, there's a warp point. Ooh, where does it take us? Have I been to this room before? I don't think so. Oops, I didn't mean to enter the warp point. Ah, that was disorienting. But also it looks like I can, f like there's, look, there's a gap in the ceiling up there. So maybe I could fall into this room from above. I got a little bit stabbed there, but okay, that was worth getting, was it not? I thought I wasn't gonna get hit by that dude. Okay, so, so in that case, what in this room will open the door? To that power-up that's to the right. Do I have to clear the room? Do I actually have to kill all of the creatures in the room? Dang it, it's hard to kill that bird. I'm just taking hits here. Mm. I, I don't know if this is even necessary, but I'm trying to kill this bird here. If I can get a lucky crit on him, that'd be great. I try Why am I not shooting an arrow there? I'm definitely hitting the button. Okay, well, I took a bunch of hits trying to do some dumb thing that I don't even know will work, but... Let's go back through this warp point and see what's to the left. That looks fancy. I got a red key. Oh, did you see that? I can go, like, through the wall here. Why? I, that is, I can go through that part of the ceiling, but not the wall. That's weird. Maybe it has something to do with the placement of those statues. Where am I? Oh, that guy's gonna bomb me. There's little fairies around here. That fairy grabbed me, and then I must have gotten hit by an explosion as well there, right? Anyway, I haven't fulfilled my promise. Let's leave. I have a lot of money, but I want to save it. That sounded different for a second, but I guess it wasn't. Anyway... Where do I go? I mean, there are a lot of places that I could go, but like, which way do I go first? And... Let me switch my characters. I, I think I'm bad at Culey. I think, I'm, I think I'm bad at using Culey. What happened there? It wouldn't let me save. Oh no, I did save, and it wouldn't let me do it again? Interesting. Okay. Um. 
Well, to the north requires a blue key, but like, I sort of want to get back to the place where I died. Maybe? I don't know. Um, and I also have... Oh! That enemy dropped something that increased my HP. Not like my maximum, but it would have healed me for some HP. Is that what the green orbs do? Um... Yeah, that's like a bonus that doesn't display in my inventory. Anyway, I have a red key now. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, let's go this way a little bit, I think. Um, and I can go up that ladder. But I haven't gone down here yet, so what's this? Ghost? Yo, a thwomp? And also a Mega Man puzzle? Wait a second, this takes me to a door that I haven't opened. <laughs> I'm surprised that I haven't got hit yet. But I broke a candle. I don't like that I can't kill these enemies. I open the door. Oh, I finally took a hit there. I was doing pretty good there. Ah. Okay. I don't know how to get there. Oop, I thought I could jump over that for some reason. That guy got messed up. I wonder if I just, like, stand next to this dude when we throw a bomb straight down. Oh, the, the actual bomb of the bomb went through me there. Oh! He tried to jump up and get me. That kind of scared me. I can hit him, like, just at the height of his jump. Um, you know what, though? I think I'm gonna go find a save point and save the game, and like, maybe try to get some sleep tonight. I don't know. It hasn't happened in, in a couple nights, but... <sighs> but I should at least try, right? Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode of Astalon. Stairs of the Earth. Until next time, this is Karmajolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Man, this game is almost as good as my Patreon patrons and my mems and my other donors who are very good.